Go to Please be seated. President, le président. Today, the third chamber of the extraordinary chambers in the courts of Cambodia, established by the law on the establishment of the extraordinary chambers in the courts of Cambodia, for the prosecution of crimes committed during the period of the Democratic Cambodia from 17 April 1975 to 6 January 1979, declares open the substantive hearing on case file 002-02 relating to the following accused. One, Nunchi, male, whose birth name is Lao Gum Lon, was born on 7 July 1926 in Watko village, Sankai district, Batambong province. They recorded address prior to his arrest was at Saprom village, Khan Pailen, Pailen city. He is represented by two counsel, Son Arun and Victor Kope. True. Kiu Samporn, male, born on 27 July 1931 in Rumtje Commune, Rumdu district, Swairing province. The recorded address prior to his arrest was at Kongtong village, Sankat Otawa, Khan Pailen City. He is represented by three councils, Kung Samon, Asove Kang, and Gusei. Pursuant to the closing order, the accused are charged with genocide, crimes against humanity, and grave breaches of the Geneva Conventions of 1949, committed on the territory of Cambodia and during the incursions in Vietnam between 17 April 1975 and 6 January 1979. On the basis of commission through a joint criminal enterprise, planning, instigating, aiding and abetting, ordering, and in the alternative, on the basis of security responsibility, those crimes and modes of criminal liability are set out and punishable under Articles 4, 5, 6, 29 new and 39 new of the law on the establishment of the extraordinary chambers in the courts of Cambodia, the after ECCC law. The bench in case 002-02 is composed of myself, presiding Judge Nil Non, Judge Zama Lavez, Judge Jean Sakhorn, Judge Claudie Fens, Judge Yu Otara, and reserve judges through Mouni and Martin Karopkin. A single consolidated group composed of 3,866 civil parties represented by National Civil Party Lead Co-Lawyer Big Ong and International Civil Party Lead Co-Lawyer Marie Giroud is participating in the proceedings. The collective participates in the audience. There are two pending motions for disqualification of this bench before a special panel of the trial chamber. chamber It was established by the Judicial Administration Committee and pursuant to Internal Rule 34.5, 
which authorizes judges subject to uh, this qualification motion to continue to sit until the motion is determined. And in the interest of an expeditious proceeding in case 002-02, avant que la question soit tranchée. Donc, the bench has decided to proceed and schedule. Rapide, dans le dossier 002-02, la chambre de première instance a choisi de suivre le calendrier proposé. However, yesterday, the trial chamber received a courtesy copy of the international co-prosecutor's disclosure of statements from another case filed. Une copie de courtoisie. The, sta the statements at issue appear to amount to hundreds of pages and concern some of the first witnesses to be called. The chamber and the parties will need time to consider these statements. La Chambre et les parties auront besoin de temps pour considérer the Chamber would ces like to inform the parties and the public that for this reason donc, it is postponing the appearance of the first witness in case 002 02 until 27 October 2014. The Chamber is also scheduling a trial management meeting for Tuesday 21st October 2014 at 9am pursuant to Internal Rule 79.7. The purpose of this trial management meeting will be to allow the parties and the trial chamber de la et à la to discuss de in de camera à clos the legal and practical consequences of this new disclosure. Cette no other topics will be on the agenda for this trial Donc, management aucun autre meeting. Sujet ne sera à du jour pour cette conférence de mise en état. I now declare the hearing open. Je déclare maintenant l'audience ouverte. Graffier, please report to the Chamber on the attendance of the parties to the uh, proceedings. Je demande à présent Graffier de faire état de la présence des parties à l'audience. Graffier, Mr. Uh, President, it Monsieur is noted that all parties to the proceedings are present. Toutes les parties sont présentes. President, thank you, Ms. Sakobuti. Le Président. Merci, Madame la Greffière. The Chamber does not allow you, uh, Council, to uh, la chambre the floor ne vous as we have to follow the proceeding and the procedure stated in the agenda. Nous allons suivre and if you wish to be on your feet, Please make sure when your turn is on. Si Please be seated. Vous Thank la parole, you. attendre que la parole vous soit donnée. Merci. Veuillez vous rasseoir. Ang Jun Da La Tawong Som Chun Dam Nang Tha. Dai An Alam Tam Bi Thien Pai Sa Pum Buon Stu Pi. The chamber would like to inform everyone that today. We will hear a brief Sorry. opening statement by the co-prosecutor and a brief response from the accused and or their lawyers, lawyers pursuant to Rule 89B2 of the Internal Rules. As just announced, the substantive hearing of the evidence will be conducted from 27 October 2014 with, with the first witness to be heard in relation to the Trump co cooperatives. Comparaîtra alors le premier témoin For the benefit of the public, the Chamber recalls that on 22nd September 2011, the Chamber issued a severance order pursuant to Internal Rule 89 tier, which limited the scope of the first trial in case 002. En application de la règle 89. To factual allegations described in the closing order as movement of population, phases 1 and 2, and crimes against humanity committed in their 
the chamber subsequently expanded the scope of case 002-01 to include the executions of former Khmer Republic officials at Tul The severance of the case became final on 23rd July 2013. And on 4 Et April 2014, 4 2014, the trial chamber issued a decision on additional severance and scope of case 002 02, which was upheld by the Supreme Court chamber on 29 July 2014. The judgment in case 002 01 was rendered on 7 August 2014. All parties, except the civil parties, co-lawyers, have filed notices of appeal. Co-avocats principaux pour les parties civiles. Les co-avocats pour les parties civiles. The chamber will not read the factual analysis of the indictment. La chambre ne lira pas une analyse factuelle de l'acte d'accusation. Pursuant to Rule 89.1 bis of the Internal Rules. The greffier is now ordered en to read the charges bis relating to case 002-02. de lire les accusations Ms. pour Ms. le dossier 02-02. Bar bar Maître Sakovuti, vous avez la parole. Greffier. Pursuant to the closing order as amended by the pretrial chamber decision on appeal against the closing order, documents D427-3-15 and D427-4-15, as well as by the trial chamber's decision on defense preliminary objections regarding statute of limitations on domestic crimes, that is document E-122, the accused Nunchi and Kiyo Samkorn are appearing before the trial chamber to be tried for the following charges, having within the territory of Cambodia between 17 April 1975 and 6 January 1979 through their acts or omissions committed by a joint criminal enterprise planned, instigated, ordered, aided and abetted, or being responsible on the basis of superior responsibility for the following crimes. One, crimes against humanity, specifically murder, extermination, enslavement, Deportation, Deportation, imprisonment, imprisonment torture, torture, rape, viol, persecution on political, racial and religious grounds and other inhumane acts. acts inhumane. These crimes are punishable under Articles 5, 29 new and 39 new of the CCC law. Two, genocide Deux. by killing members Genocide. of the groups of Vietnamese and Cham, punishable under Articles 4, 29 new suivant, and 39 new of the CCC law. 4, 29 new and 39 new of the CCC law. Three, great breaches of the Geneva Conventions of 12 August 1949, 1949 specifically willful killing, notamment Torture or inhumane treatment, torture ou traitement inhumain, willfully causing great suffering or serious injury to body or health, willfully depriving a prisoner of war or civilian the rights of fair and regular trial, and unlawful deportation or unlawful confinement of a civilian. These crimes are punishable under Articles 6, 29 new and 39 new of the ECCC law. Pursuant to the second decision on severance order of case 002, dated 26 April 2013, document E284, 
portant disjonction. And, and trial chairman's decision on the 26 avril 2014 et de la décision de la première instance sur les disjonctions conditionnelles dans le dossier 02 et le portail du dossier 02 bar 02 en date du 4 avril 2014 et document E301-1. The trial chamber will, in the second trial in case 002, key evidence relating to the following topics in relation to Nguyen Thi and Kiu Samphorn. A historical background, B, administrative structures, communication structure and military structure, C, and conflict. D, roles of the accused and character, E, policies of Democratic Cambodia on the issues raised in the indictment, F, factual allegations described in the indictment related to population movement phase 2, limited to the treatment of the CHAM cooperatives and work sites, limited to tram cooperatives, Trapeng Tmo Dam, 1st January Dam and Kampung Chinang Airport work sites. Le security centers de de limited to S21, Les Grand Tachan, Okonsang, S21, and Phnom Krao security Tachan, centers, Okonsang, et Phnom treatment Krao. of targeted groups, including a treatment of Buddhist, limited to Tram Kok cooperatives, treatment of the Cham, excluding the Krochma security center, and Exclure treatment of Vietnamese, excluding the crimes committed by the Revolutionary Army of Kampuchea on Vietnamese territory, and the regulation of marriage on national wide. Et la réglementation du mariage genocide euh, by killing Cham and genocide by killing Vietnamese. Genocide. Crimes Genocide against humanity, including murder, extermination, enslavement, deportation, imprisonment, deportation, torture, persecution torture, on political, religious, and racial grounds, pour pour and other inhuman acts ethnic, through rape, attacks against human dignity, forced marriage, viol, forced transfer, and enforced disappearances forcé, et as they forcé. pertained to the movement of population phase 2, limited two. to the treatment of the CHAM, tram co cooperatives, Trapeng Thmo Dam, 1st January Dam, and Kampong Chang Airport work sites, du S21, du du Grand Dachan, Open Sign, S21, and Phnom Krao security centers, les de and de the Krang treatment Tachan, of Buddhists, the Krang, treatment of the Cham and Vietnamese. Vietnam. Grave breaches of the Geneva Conventions 1949, including willful killing, y compris torture, la torture, inhumane treatment, traitement inhumain, willfully causing great suffering or serious injury to body or health, physique ou à la santé, willfully depriving a prisoner of war or a civilian the rights of fair de and regular trial, de ses droits à un unlawful deportation of a civilian Deportation and unlawful confinement de of a civilian et as they de civils to S21 and all concerned security centers. Thank you, Mr. President. President, thank you, the Greffier. And before we proceed with the opening statement from the co-prosecutors, the trial chamber reminds the accused that they have the right to remain silent pursuant to Rule 21.1D of the Internal Rules. Pursuant to Rule 90 of the Internal Rules, if the accused choose not to the exercise their right to remain silent, si the judges, the co-prosecutors, and all the parties and their lawyers have the right to les question juges, the accused. Les et les parties, ainsi on que 30 les avocats, September 2014, through email communications with the senior legal officer of the trial chamber, both Nunji and Kiu Samporn have indicated that they will not be responding to questioning pursuant to Rule 90 of the Internal Rules, following the opening statement. The question from the bench is, la chambre pose donc la Nunchi, question. do you confirm Nunchi. this position? 
Confirmez-vous votre position. Pas une heure, hein. Mr. Nunchi, the question to you is, do you wish to exercise your rights to remain silent? As for the opening statement, your team will have the opportunity to do so. Quant à des déclarations initiales, votre équipe de défense aura la possibilité d'en faire. Nunchi, I wish to exercise my right to remain silent. Nunchi. President, thank you, Mr. Nunchi. Je And the six. question is now directed to the accused Q. Sampon. Through email communication with senior, the senior legal officer of the trial chamber on 30 September 2014, you stated that you wish to exercise your right to remain silent. We would like to know whether you still maintain this position. I would like to make an, a statement. J'aimerais faire une déclaration. President, the question to you is whether you still wish to exercise your right to remain silent posée, as in the email communication to the trial chamber with the senior legal officer. À la juriste hors classe de la chambre de première instance. Please, only respond to this question Je vous prie de on your position on the right to remain silent to, so that the proceedings can be arranged uh, accordingly. Nous ainsi As for your opening statement, pour ce qui you est and your counsel will have the opportunity to do so et vos soon. Ont la possibilité de le faire. Bientôt. Q. Sampon. Q. Sampon. I will respond to your question Je after I make my opening statement. Je répondrai à votre question après avoir President, fait ma déclaration. thank you. Le président. Je vous remercie. The chamber would like to give the floor now to the co-prosecutors to make their brief opening statement. National Co-Prosecutor. Good morning, Mr. President, Jonas, and good morning, everyone in and around the courtroom. Bonjour, et bonjour à tous. Two months ago, we gathered in this courtroom. Il y a deux mois. To hear your Honor's historic verdict in the first trial of Nunchi and Kiu Samporn on the 7th of August 2014, a long awaited day of justice finally arrived for the victims of the murders. But our work in this court is not done. Mais le travail du tribunal me the accused have been convicted of crimes against Les humanity committed in the early days of their regime. 
commis when millions of people were forcibly moved from the cities of Cambodia to the countryside. But the great majority of the crimes suffered by the victims of the democratic Cambodian regime, for which these accused and responsible have yet to be addressed. Mais nous n'avons pas encore traité In this trial, la grande we majorité des crimes dont what happened to the people of Cambodia after the forced movements and the cooperatives and websites where they were enslaved and subjected to inhumane conditions après les transferts forcés, that led to countless deaths from starvation, de travail, overworked and disease. In this trial, the accused will be prosecuted for the genocide and persecution of the Cham and Vietnamese peoples, for persecution of the Buddhists, and for subjecting the women of the Cambodia to force marriage and rape. And the accused will now face trial for the biggest crime for which they have been indicted, the extermination and murder of tens of thousands of Khmer at re-education and security offices. At these prisons, the people the Khmer Rouge regarded as enemies were unlawfully detained, brutally interrogated and tortured, and coldly disposed of when their interrogations were complete and they had provided a list of other alleged enemies to be pursued. Dans ces prisons. Of all the crimes in the Democratic Cambodia, there was none graver than the relentless and systematic effort of the senior Khmer Rouge leaders to identify and smash all those they feared could one day oppose them. Those who came from families not considered part of the peasant or worker class, those associated with the former government, those viewed as suspects because they came from the cities, those who failed to obey and dared to question the policy of the Communist Party of Cambodia, and those who tried to flee and escape the Khmer Rouge. Mettre en doute les politiques du Parti communiste du Cambodge. An endless and ever escalating cycle of violence against the Cambodian people, which left a land of mass graves and missing relatives. A laissé un territoire. This was the truly heinous legacy of the CPK leaders who sit before us today. Des dirigeants du PCK. So, for those who have asked why we need another trial when these accused elderly men have already received life sentences, the answer is simple. We are here because the millions of Cambodians who did not survive this regime for whom the three the Cambodian years, eight months, and 20 days of the democratic Cambodian meant democratic only toiled and dust, suffering and grief, labor, pain and death. Poussière, souffrance, tristesse, douleur, Your honors, mort, the doors of this court cannot be closed until justice is done for the victims juge, of these crimes. Du tribunal avant no, que justice me. soit rendue pour les victimes de ces crimes. This morning, I will discuss the crimes committed in Tramcot District and at the DK work sites and security centers that have been included as part of this trial and the crimes of forced marriage and rape. And the international co-prosecutor will then address you on the crime of genocide. He will also address how, contrary to their claim that they had no knowledge of or role in the crimes for which they are charged, Kiu Sompon and Nguyen Chia contributed to each of the crimes that will be proven in this trial. Tramcot District Crimes and Trang Tachan. 
The first phase of this trial will involve crimes committed in the cooperatives of Tramcot District, which was part of Sector 13 of the Southwest Zone, and at the Krangtachan Prison, which was the district's re-education or security office. During the DK period, Tramcot was also known as District 105. In testimony, you heard from Nguyen Chir in his first trial, he described Tramcot District as one of two core bases of the Communist Party of Kampuchea going back to its early days. During the democratic Kampuchea regime, Nguyen Chir, Kiu Sampon, and the other party leaders made trips to these areas to meet the Southwest Zone leader Tamok and to show visiting dignitaries the CPK's modal cooperative in Lebo Commune. The party leaders received regular reports on the arrest and smashing of enemies, the construction of dams and canals, rye production, and the livelihood of the people in Kramko and the other districts that form the southwest zone. On the 30th June 1977, the Communist Party of Cambodia's Central Committee awarded Tramcot District the honorary red flag, recognizing it as one of the third modal districts in all of the democratic Cambodia in terms of defending the country, making socialist revolution, and building socialism. In Fulfilling the party's mission uh, to achieve three tons of petty per hectare and in waging strong and profound class struggle within the entire district. In this trial, the co-prosecutor will prove what took place in the CPK's modal district between April 1975 and January 1979. The witnesses who have been proposed to testify in this segment, including two former secretaries of Tramcot District, a commune chief, Kader, who worked at the district office and hospital, former guards and cadres from Krangtachan Security Office, as well as the victims who live in the district, base people, new people, and surviving detainees. The accused have been charged with a broad array of crimes against humanity in relation to Tramcot District and Krangtachan Security Office enslavement, religious per, uh, persecution of Buddhists, racial persecution, and deportation of the Vietnamese, political persecution of local officials and new people, forced marriage and rape, imprisonment, torture, murder and extermination and attacks against human dignity. The trial of this crime site alone will allow us to examine all aspects of life in democratic Cambodia and the crimes to which the Cambodian people were subjected on a day-to-day -day basis as, as experienced in a district held out by the CPK leaders as a model for the entire country. The co-prosecutors will prove that in the CPK's modal district, people were not free to choose where they lived what they did for work, or who they would marry. They were enslaved in cooperatives where there was insufficient food to eat, and many died from starvation and malnutrition. Those who complained about conditions in the cooperatives or who tried to escape were regarded as enemies and sent to the district's re-education or security offices. We have asked your honors to hear testimony from the deputy chief of the Tramcot District Hospital, 
who has described a meeting with the district committee in which he was asked why there were so many sick people in the hospital when he told the CPK leaders of this modal district that it was because people did not have enough food to eat and suffered from malnutrition. He was accused of attacking the cooperatives and his request to increase food ra ration denied. The prosecutor, the co-prosecutors will prove that in this modal district, monks from all Takao province were gathered at the Ong Roka Pagoda, forced to this rope and converted to soldiers, farmers and workers. The pagodas in the district were closed and the people prohibited from practicing the Buddhist religion. In the CPK, a uh, modal district, evacuees who arrived from Phnom Penh and other cities were gathered at the Wat Champa Le uh, Pagoda and those identified as enemies, including the higher ranking officials and soldiers of Lono regime, were taken away and killed. And as you will see in the surviving records of this district, the persecution of targeted groups such as the former Lono soldiers, my crown, new people, continue uh, throughout the DK period. Lists were made identifying the Khmer Kraum families and former Lonol personnel living in each commune. This is um, a report uh, from Kuch commune, prepared in April 1977, entitled List of Kampuchea Kraum people from Kuch commune. This include a column entitled Rank, identifying those who held position in the Lonol military. The column next to that identifies those who were 17 April people from Phnom Penh. These groups were closely monitored and targeted for arrest and execution upon the slightest misstep. As one witness uh, from this district put it, just open your mouth a little bit and they took you away and killed you. A substantial percentage of the surviving Tramco reports of enemies from communities and district security concerned, pe uh, concerned people identified as having connection to the Khmer Republic. Here are a few examples, all from April or May 1977, just two months before Tram Kok was awarded the honorary red flag by the CPK Central Committee. In this report to the district office from Chiang Tong Commune, dated the 30th April 1977, the commune chief identified two people connected to the Lonol regime, one a second lieutenant and the other a civil servant who worked in the social development ministry and wrote, quote, after having received successive instruction from Anka about being vigilant about the enemy and purging the enemy officers, we have tracked, examined, and found the following persons." End quote. A document from the TAPEM Subdistrict Cooperative Base Branch, also sent in late April 1977, references those same instructions. It reported that TAPEM commune had, quote, examined and purged the enemies who held ranks after having received the instruction of the party, end quote and had found, quote-unquote, six more such persons with, quote-unquote, officer and official ranks. On the 11 April 1977, uh, Propel Commune sent a, quote, request for advice, end quote, to the district, which stated, Quote, for those people who held a, rank, a ranking position, 
in the old regime, we will send them uh, to you one after another for soldiers and some teachers who attempted to destroy and are against our revolution. Could you please give us advice what to do? With high commitment to smash the spy of the enemy uh, to its total extinction in order to serve the socialist revolution and building socialists of the uh, party. Uh, we see the result of the advice given to Popel commune in a subsequent report to the district from that commune sent only four weeks later uh, on the 8th of May 1977. In that document, Popel commune reported that 106 military families, 393 people had already been smashed by Anka or died. And the commune were screening more families to find out whether or not uh, they are of military personnel. The Trump records contain uh, notes from the uh, district uh, secretary ordering the arrest of person reported by the communes and notes uh, from the sector sec secretary ordering the execution of prisoners uh, following their interrogation. And this is a report from the Krang Tachan on the uh, interrogation of Ong Lee, a uh, civil servant and teachers from Ong Ta Saum who had been trained to repair air conditioner in the United States. And the handwritten uh, notation in the upper left corner is from Sector 13 Secretary who approves the execution of this person. What did Ong Lee uh, do to deserve to be smashed? His sole crimes consider of uh, dreaming about good times and good food he had in America, having the rank of a major in the Lonnell government. Your honors, you will be no doubt, there will be no doubt about the existence and the implementation of the CPK policy to eliminate the official and soldiers of the former regime in the evidence you will see from Tramka district. The co-prosecutor will also also prove uh, that in this Mordor district, Vietnamese were deported and traded uh, from Khmer Krang living in Vietnam, and the Khmer Krang Sen, the Khmer Krang Sen to Tram Kok were enslaved and put to work in the district's cooperatives and work site. Later on, the Vietnamese who had remained behind were rounded up and killed until there were no more Vietnamese left in Tram Kok district. The Khmer Crown were similarly targeted and accused of having, quote unquote, Khmer bodies with Yuan heads. A former cadre who worked at the Tramcock district office from 1976 to 1978, uh, proposed witness. TC2822 has described in detail how, quote, every single Vietnamese national living in the district was swept clean, unquote, uh, pursuant to a plan from the, quote, unquote, upper echelon. They were told by the carter assigned uh, to arrest the Vietnamese a relative of Tamok, that thousands of family had been taken away and killed. <clears throat> In the CPK's Modal district, monthly reports were prepared for the party leaders, totaling the number arrested and number smashed each month at the District 105 Re-Education Office in Krang Chan. This is the report from November 1977, which states that 75 new prisoners entered that month, 92 prisoners were purged, and six died of illness, leaving a total of 85 prisoners at the end of the month. And in the CPK's Modal district, young children were arrested and killed with their parents. Here is a document written by the Trump Court District uh, Secretary in August 1978, explaining what was to be done with children of female prisoners who were too young to be put to work. And I quote the CPK District Secretary as follows, quote, any bigger children 
that have already gone to the mobile units or children's unit, let them stay there and take just the mothers. But if children cannot be separated from their mothers, bring them in for interrogation and after everything is finished, sweep them all clean. Your honors, let there be no mistake about the meaning of this document. When the Khmer Rouge say, quote unquote, sweep them all clean, what they meant was to kill. In this case, kill toddlers and infants. And this was life in the CPK's modal district. The crime committed at Krang Tachan will be proven not only by the hundreds of surviving Tramkok records, but also by the testimony of the surviving detainees and the CPK cadres who worked there and who have admitted to the shackling of prisoners in inhumane conditions. The use of torture during interrogations and execution of prisoners who were buried in mass graves around the prison compound. A document uh, written by Krang Tachan prison chief, An, which uh, has been authenticated by the former district secretary, reported to the party that, quote, so far we have smashed 15,000 enemies, unquote. And these are some of the human uh, remains uh, that were discovered from the mass graves around Krang Tachan prison. Your Honor, your Honor will determine in this trial who bears responsibility for these crimes. And before I turn to my next subject, let me take you back to one piece of key testimony we have already heard on that issue. In the first trial, former Tramco District Secretary Pic Jim described a month-long political education session held each year in Phnom Penh for district and sector secretaries from across the country. At the meetings he attended, the sole instructor was the accused Nguyen Jir. And when the former Lors secretary of the CPK's Modal district was asked whether Nunjir discussed internal and exter external um, enemies, this was his response, and I quote, quote, yes, he did. He covered all aspects. Without having covered the subject of enemies, people would never know how to identify enemies from friends, unquote. Your Honours, the crimes committed in Tramcock district were not the acts of the rouge cutters. They were the acts of trained and loyal party members carrying out the policies, instruction, and wishes of Nguyen Chir, Kiu Sampon, and the other CPK leaders. Now on work side, after Tramcock District, the second segment of this trial will examine three of the most infamous work sites in democratic Cambodia. The first January Dam that was built on the Chinat River in Kampung Thom province, part of the central and old north zone, the uh, Tropeng Pmor Dam in Manti Menchai province, built by Sector 5 of the northwest zone, and Kampung Chnang Airport, a site managed by the Revolutionary Army of Cambodia Division 502. Pursuant to the economic plan of the accused and the other CPK leaders, large-scale irrigation projects were initiated across the country in 1976 as part of the party's quote-unquote great leap forward. The CPK leaders called for the rapid completion of these massive dams, notwithstanding uh, that they were to be built primarily by manual labor. The party center's plan for the first January dam required that a 60 kilometer long dam be completed in no more than one year. 
appelé à la construction d'un barrage de 60 km the de long en l'espace d'une année. Le réservoir du lake. barrage de Trapéan Thmor incluait a certain kilometer long dike built along the east side of the reservoir, a nine kilometer long dike on the south side, three bridges and three land sea canals, one of which was 50 kilometer long. Despite the massive size of this project, the party's plan called for its completion in only three months. As you will hear from the former economic chief of Sector 5. As a result of the party's directives, thousands of workers were sent to these sites given unrealistic and arduous work assignments and forced to work from morning to night with insufficient food and medical care. Over 20,000 workers were assigned to build the first January dam and over 30,000 workers sent to the Pengtmo dam. In this uh, CPK propaganda film, Dans ce film de propagande du PCK, of what is believed to be the first January Dam site, you see the enormous size cas, of these projects and the tasks performed by the workers who were sent to build dams and dig canals. The workers at this site were assigned daily quotas and expected to dig and carry between one to three cubic meters of dirt every day. Your Honor, you can see in this film that many of them are working barefoot. The first January and Trapangtmo dam work size were well known to both accused. The constructions of dams and canals were a regular subject discussed in the reports and telegrams sent to the party center. Kilsen Pond visited both work sites and praised the construction of Trapangtmo reservoir. Nunjir regularly traveled to the provinces and saw the condition at the first January dam and other work sites, as you heard during the testimony of his bodyguard in his first trial. And the building of these dams was described by the party center in its revolutionary flag and use publications. This is the uh, July-August 1975 uh, issue of Revolutionary Youth. It contains a detailed description of the parameters of the Trapangtmo Dam, notes that the construction of the reservoir started on the 16th of February 1977 and was completed by mid-May and provides the following account of what was experienced by the tens of thousands of workers at this site. The CPK leaders also came to this site to show foreign delegation the accomplishment of their the regime. In this photo, you see Yen taking a female delegation from Laos to the first January dam. In December 1977, the vice premier of China was taken by the CPK leaders to visit both dams. At Trapangtmo Dam, 
Southwest Zone Secretary Ruth Nhiem announced that the dam had been built in less than two months. In response uh, to the call of the party Central Committee to build water conservancy project in a big way. At the first January dam, Central Zone Secretary Kai Po noted how Quote, Buddhist monks used to say that only God can dam the Chinat River, unquote. and in response, Paul Pot exclaimed uh, that the people themselves were now gods. But the workers at this site were not treated as gods by the CPK. They were slaves who received Meager, meager food ration worked from early in the morning to late at night, slept on the ground, and were watched and guarded by CPK militia. And they were skinny and malnourished with swollen legs. Those who were too sick to work were accused of being enemies and punished. Those who complained about the work conditions or lack of food and or who tried to escape were arrested and taken away. This was the reality of these sites, as you will hear from the civil parties and the witnesses who worked there. From the top, of the first January dam, you can see what Barai Chuan Dai, like many other Buddhist temples in Cambodia, it was used as a security office by the Khmer Rouge, and many of the first January dam workers who were arrested on uh, arrested were taken there and killed. As is uh, clear from this 1977 photo of the human remains recovered uh, at Barai Chuan Dai, thousands of people died at this site. You will hear uh, similar testimony regarding arrest and disappearance of workers at the Trapeng Dam. The Kampungchnang Airport worksite was operated by AAK Division 502. It was a tampering site used to discipline soldiers who came from purged divisions or who were otherwise viewed as a suspect because of their personal background or connections. It was a work project uh, that was initiated and overseen by the CPK Standing Committee and was regularly discussed at Standing Committee meetings attended by Nguyen Chia and Kiu Sampon as reflected in the surviving minutes of uh, those meetings. The site was frequently visited by CPK leaders, including both of the accused and the a site supervisor who worked where the deputy commander of the Region 502 witnessed Kiu Sampon came to the work site and meet with the Region 502 deputy and the other site chiefs. The Kampung Chinang airfield site covered 300 hectares and was one of the largest websites in all of Democratic Kampuchea. The runway itself, which can be seen in this aerial photo, was 2.4 kilometers long. Between 20 to and 35,000 people were sent to this tampering site. They were forced to work long days with sparse food rations and the threat of being killed or sent to a security office. 
Some were sent to S21. Certains ont été envoyés à S21. Large groups of paired soldiers from the East de Zone de were simply taken away from the work site and killed en masse. Chantier, Many of the female masse. cadres at the site committed suicide. The CPK leaders' plans for the airport site included a massive underground command center that was to be built into the site of Sutaric Hill. Workers at the site used dynamite to blast a six-meter-high tunnel that extended 400 meters into the middle of the mountain. Along the tunnel, a number of large chambers were cut out of the rock. A Cambodian daily reporter who ventured into this tunnel described the thin oxygen, fault air, and darkness, Tout le long and du wrote, tunnel, I quote, It is hard to believe that anybody could perform hard labor in such an environment, unquote. Witnesses have testified that people died or were injured every day in the effort to build this dangerous and delusional project of the CPK Standing Committee. The enslavement of Cambodians at DK broadcast and cooperatives will also be proven by the numerous telegrams and reports sent to the party center leaders describing how people who sought to flee or escape sites were hunted down, arrested, and either taken back to their work site or smashed. He is just one example La from the West Zone's monthly report de for July 1978. It describes how sector troops found three enemies trying to escape from the Gombochnang airport location and fired shots at them. And reports that one of the captured workers had been sent to the re-education place for further interrogation. The same report also describes the arrest of a person who escaped from a cooperative. The West Zone report from the prior month contained an entire section titled Escaping from Cooperatives. Your Honours, we have identified over 100 instances in which the party center leaders in Phnom Penh received reports of the arrest of persons whose sole crime was trying to leave, to get out of the cooperative or work site in which Comment they were enslaved, du du parti to make their way to the nearest border and escape to Thailand or Vietnam. As we have repeatedly heard from the survivors of this regime, the Mukhati Kampuji truly was a prison without walls. On security centers, I will now address DK security centers, which will be the fourth segment of this trial. I discussed earlier the Kang Tachan prison, the re-education office of Jampo District. In this trial, the accused will also be prosecuted for crimes committed at the O Kansai prison in Ratanakiri province, the Plum Kral Security Office in Mundul Kiri and S21. While not as big as S21 or Krang Tachan, all Konsai and Phnom Krao are important to this case because the evidence linking the crimes committed at those prisons to the CPK leaders in Phnom Penh. All Konsai was a military prison and was the re-education office of RAK Division 801 based in Ratanakiri. The evidence to be presented regarding this security office 
will focus on a mass execu execution of 200 Jarite men, women and children from Vietnam captured by Division 801. This execution has been described by the O'Consign prison chief, the chef de la prison the deputy chief and surviving detainees. Des détenus, des it is directly linked to the CPK leaders in Phnom Penh. Il existe un lien direct avec les dirigeants du CPK à Phnom Penh. From the secretary of the North East Zone, they reported the capture of those Jarai prisoners, identified them as Vietnamese soldiers, and requested advice on what to do with the prisoners. Et dans lequel on the list of recipients of their telegram included Nguyen Chi and the office la liste des in which de he was upon was et le bureau. The O'Consign prison Kyo chief has testified basé. that an order to execute the Jarai prison prisoners was conveyed to Division 801 by the North Division Zone office. Le bureau de la zone Your Honours, let me make clear why this is significant. Je exprimer clairement pourquoi ceci est important. Normally, executions orders for all consigned did not come général, through the zone ordonna, office. Les ordres d'exécuter pour au consigne ne provenaient pas du bureau zone de zone. Secretary Et dans ce cas-ci, le zone, from zone the le secrétaire de zone in Phnom Penh a obtenu des instructions à chercher à obtenir des, des instructions des dirigeants du PCK Phnom Penh sur prisoners comment captured by Division 801. Sur quoi faire avec ces and the instruction that was received Jarai, was to kill them. Your Honours, because this was an execution of an army nationals captured by the RAK during a time of armed conflict, de the charges de against the accused related to open side include the breaches of the Geneva Convention. Les accusations qui portent contre les accusés au consign comprennent les violations the graves consign des conventions de Genève. The O'Consign prison chief and deputy admit the use of torture, le chef et le chef adjoint de la prison d'au consign ont reconnu rips, le recours à la torture, y compris des they described how executions of prisoners took place in nearby de bâton, B-52 craters. And they also described ont how the prison soldiers were arrested and detained at a proximity of the B-51 confession de la division ont été arrêtés et ont été that prisonniers à Oconsign sur la base d'aveux obtenus à S21 envoyés par Phnom Penh qui mettaient en cause ces cadres comme faisant partie de the raison de Division 801 Voici un des aveux obtenus à S21 qui avait été envoyé à Division 801 au secrétaire de sa division Son Sen la note sur Kiel, la page principale, as Rune to read the confession and pick out the relevant Kiel, names de from RK, Unit 801. De lire les aveux the evidence relating to this security office dans also includes reports or telegrams sent to Son Sen by the Division 801 Secretary in which he expresses Sen, his commitment le de to the CPK policy of arresting anyone suspected of being an enemy un ennemi. and those who were against Et the party line. The co-prosecutors will prove that the imprisonment, murders, and other crimes committed at the O'Consign Security Office were done with the knowledge and pursuant to the policies and directives of the CPK leaders in Phnom Penh. The same is true for Phnom Crow. Cela vaut aussi it was the security au office of Il sector 105, du sector 105, the autonomous sector autonome in Mondokiri province, au, au Mondokiri. that reported directly to the CPK standing committee. We have already heard testimony from two of the former cadres de deux from that sector. De ce secteur. Sausarun, Sausarun, the former secretary of sector, sector 105, 105 has described his regular trips to Phnom Penh, report to the party center leaders, including Paul Pot, Nguyen Chi, and Kyo Sampon. He testified that it was the CPK leaders in Phnom Penh who made the decisions in regards to political enemies arrested in his sector, 
Par exemple, portant sur les ennemis politiques arrêtés dans ce secteur, par exemple, les personnes accusées d'avoir trahi le parti ou d'avoir collaboré avec les Yun. Nous avons aussi entendu la déposition de Kam Pan dans le cadre du premier procès, un cadre qui travaillait au bureau du Télégramme du secteur 105 et qui était le fils du secrétaire du secteur qui avait précédé à Saroun. He described how telegrams Il a décrit la façon dont les télégrammes qui portaient sur des questions de sécurité étaient envoyés à Nunchi et comment Nunchi, calling cadres des télégrammes avaient été envoyés Pen. par Nunchia appelant des cadres à se rendre à Phnom Penh. The testimonies regarding the authority of the party center leaders sur l'autorité du secteur 105 is corroborated by the 30 March 1976 Central Committee decision on the right to smash inside and outside the ranks. It states that for Independent sectors, on such as sector 105, comme le secteur 105, decisions on smashing were to be made by the standing committee. Devait être prise par Your Honours, permanent. the co-prosecutors will prove that it was the CPK standing committee that had direct responsibility for executions at the security office. This responsibility is also reflected in the surviving telegrams from Mundul Kiri sector. This August 1977 telegram sent to office 870 by sector 105 security plan. Witness Campan reported the capture of three people who escaped from Stung Trai, who were believed to be enemies, because they were carrying pictures of King Father Sihar. The telegram was a decision from the party center dans ce télégramme, on demande qu'une décision soit prise par le centre du parti, à savoir s'il fallait les purger ou les envoyer à la zone nord. This telegram from Secretary Secretary Sarun reported the arrest of a man and woman for immoral acts, stating this comrade was previously implicated in the confessions of the traitor Achun. At that time, the sector monitored his activities, but now he has been involved with this Immoral acts and has been arrested and detained. Maintenant qu'il a été arrêté pour ses actes immoraux, il a été arrêté. Et maintenant qu'il a participé à ses actes immoraux, il a été arrêté et emprisonné. On lui demande de l'avis sur quoi faire avec ses prisonniers. Il est envoyé à oncle. In this trial, we will hear evidence about the crimes committed at the Sector 105 Security Office that resulted from the policies and instructions of the CPK leaders. You will hear from surviving prisoners who were part of a large group of 80 people arrested and detained at the Sector Security Office in late 1977 because they were Relatives have worked at the same office as cadres accused of being traitors, including the contemptible traitor referenced in the telegram you just saw. Because they were parents or because they had worked. They will describe how many of these detainees were taken away, and they were seen again. They were seen again. They were seen again. The security center first of the first of this trial will also include S21, the highest level prison in the Democratic Republic. A security office located in Phnom Penh that reported to the party center leaders. A security office that was directly supervised by Nunchi during the last year of the DK regime. A security office in which over 12,000 people were killed in three years. Plus de 12 000 personnes ont été tuées en trois ans. The crimes committed at S21 were meticulously documented by the CPK cadres who worked there. And are beyond dispute. These crimes are irrefutable. They are proven by the prisoner biographies, photographs, and lists 
L'épreuve de ces films sont les biographies des prisonniers, les photographies et les listes qui ont été préparées à l'arrivée des prisonniers S21. They are proven by the logs kept of interrogations, reports prepared by S21 staff describing the use of torture, torture and the lengthy confessions that would result from weeks or months of torture, qui le résultat de semaines many of which torture. bear annotations recording how they were sent On retrouve sur ces aveux des annotations and other CPK leaders. Ont été à Sonsen, à Nuenchia, et à the de crimes CPK. committed at S21 were proven by the list identifying the prisoners des who had been S21. executed and notes aussi des reflecting the approval of by Hong Kong. This S21 list alone records the killing of 173 prisoners from the North Sur Zone on one day, la, that is the 8th of July 1977. The crimes are proven by the detailed testimony that has been provided by the handful of surviving detainees, the guards and interrogators who worked at S21, and the prison chief himself, Kang Gai Yev, alias Dutch. And they are proven by the human remains that were recovered from the mass graves at June 8th, whose scars remain today. One document in particular conveys in horrifying detail what was experienced by the victims who were detained and interrogated at the party's central security office. This is a report written by an S21 cadre describing the interrogation of CPK Sector Secretary Kai Kum Hood over the course of a three-day period. Secrétaire the report du states du that on the first day, Kim some Wood forceful torture was used, jours. and the le spirits of the prisoner fell. Le premier jour, on Two days later, torture, he was pounded again, and his health got weaker, but he continued to say he was not a traitor. Tard, the following afternoon, the nouveau, prisoner was beaten again, and subjected to electric shocks and fed two or three spoonfuls of shit. Kakam, who had told the S21 cadre to go ahead and beat me to death, that night he received electric shocks again, this time pretty seriously. The prisoner became delirious and confessed a bit. Despite this horrific torture, Kakam Hood maintains his dignity and innocence, telling the interrogators he would just close his eyes and wait for death. The S21 interrogator concludes the report, stating that his operative plan is to continue to torture with mastery because his enemy is breaking emotionally and is at a dead end. He asks for opinion and guidance from Hong Kong in carrying out this task avec adresse, car l'ennemi se détériore. This one document shows us, all too vividly, the horror that was S21, and this is how the CPK treated one of their own, a fellow leader who had joined the revolution in the 1960s. En détail, l'horreur des intérêts, et montre comment le PCK traitait les siens. Like Summarizing the interrogation and torture of S21 prisoners, the part of the documents sent by Deutsch to the CPK leadership. So it is no surprise that Nunchi has admitted to take some part. His knowledge that the prisoners detained at S21 were routinely tortured, stating, and I quote, they normally confessed when they were beaten 
painfully quand ils étaient and battus seriously tortured. et torturés sérieusement. Quote. Fin de citation. Later this morning, the international co plus tard dans la matinée, will le co-procureur international donnera plus de détails sur la responsabilité des accusés pour ces crimes. On the regulation of a marriage, the final subject I will address today is the crime of forced marriage. While both Cambodian men and women were victimized by forced marriage, the consequences were felt the most by the women of this country. For those fortunate enough, to have been paired with a sympathetic and kind partner who respected their wishes, forced marriage may not have been the worst crime experience in democratic Cambodia. But nonetheless, was a fundamental violation of their most basic human rights and freedoms n'a peut-être pas été le pire crime du Cambodge démocratique, mais il s'agissait de violations fondamentales trial, force marriage du was a form droit of daily torture, à la liberté. With one you did not know and did not love, subjected Pour certains, to abuse and rape. Vous entendrez dans le cadre de ce procès Forced marriage is another example of the Khmer Rouge regime exercising the power of ownership over human beings, treating the Cambodian people like property, like cattle, be bred with partners of the owner's choosing. The CPK's plan to destroy the old family structures and to subjugate individuals to the will of the party even in the matters as personal as marriage, is reflected in a 1975 party circular entitled Revolutionary and Non-Revolutionary World Views regarding the matter of family building. The CPK publication contains specific instructions on the selection of spouses, stating, quote, in the matter of building a family, no matter the outcomes of the organizations and the collective assessments and decisions, they must be absolutely respected. Do not have hard feelings, do not be disappointed. This is because only the organization and the collective are able to make a thorough assessment from every aspect. Unquote. The co-prosecutors will prove in this trial that forced marriage was conducted in every region and every organization of democratic Cambodia, including government ministries in Phnom Penh, under the supervision of the accused. The co-prosecutors have proposed as tribunities a former cadre from the Ministry of Commerce, which fell under the supervision of Kiel Samporn, and a former cadre from the Ministry of Social Affairs, for which Nunchi had oversight responsibility. Both were subjected to forced marriages in their respective ministries and can describe the knowledge and participation of the senior CPK leaders in those crimes. Du PCK, you will also hear from civil parties and witnesses who live in different regions of the country, but who described a common experience that could only be the result of a centrally driven program. Forced marriages that were ordered, arranged and conducted by the local CPK officials Mass ceremonies that sometimes included as many as 100 couples married at the same time. Not only were men and women victims forced to marry, they were monitored by CPK militia and forced to consummate those marriages. Forced by the authority to engage in sexual relations against their will. 
you will hear in this trial from the women of the Democratic Cambodia who were raped as a result of the CBK's marriage policy. Vous entendrez dans ce procès comment les femmes du Cambodge démocratique ont été violées par le système politique du mariage forcé du PCK. Forward, des femmes courageuses qui ont décidé de dire aux tribunaux l'expérience horrible qui les ont marquées à vie. Because the goal of the CPK's forced marriage policy was not only to exercise complete control over the individual, comme l'objectif de la politique de la population était non seulement d'avoir un contrôle complet sur les individus, mais aussi d'augmenter la population du Kampuchea démocratique. Les accusés ont la responsabilité pénale des viols qui se sont produits dans le cadre de cette politique de mariage forcé. Mesdames et Messieurs, les co-prosecuteurs ont regardé dans ce trial pour chercher la justice pour les victimes de la mariage for the people who were enslaved in the cooperatives and websites of the Democratic Cambodia and for those who were targeted as enemies and detained, tortured and killed at the security centers and execution sites that are part of this trial. I'm grateful for your honors, and this is my conclusion merci. of my opening statement. And I wish to hand over the floor to my international co prosecutor. Thank you. President, Le the time is appropriate for a short break. And before we take a break, I would like to inquire from the lead co-lawyers for civil party. A courtesy information I receive is that a, a group of civil parties would like to si submit a motion to the trial de chamber. This information is conveyed through the administration. C'est l'administration qui nous a fait part de cette nouvelle. Nous aimerions que nous sachions donc à confirmer auprès des co-avocats principaux pour les partis civils si c'est bien le cas. Maître Picardieu. Good morning, Mr. President, Your Honours, and everyone. Bonjour. In fact, this morning, after I arrived, I met some civil parties. Effectivement, après mon arrivée ce matin, j'ai rencontré quelques partis civils. In front of the main courtroom and near National Road number 4. Yes, there were civil parties who were here. Il y avait des and civils uh, during this break, ici. I will meet them and consult with them and whether they wish to file a motion. Thank you. Réunir avec eux et nous President, thank si you. Nous présentons une requête. We will take a short break donc and we pause. will resume at 10 through 11 to continue our hearing.